Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And we're here today to see how wireless radiation from a wireless router affects the wireless radiation meter readings when inside a chicken wire Faraday cage. So we have our wireless router right here, it's currently switched off. We're going to use these two meters to take our wireless radiation meter readings. This one is recording in millivolts per meter and this one is recording in milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm going to turn on the wireless router and we should see our radiation levels spike up. So the wireless router is now plugged in and in a few seconds we should see the wireless network come on and we should see a surge on the radiation levels that matches that. So the wireless network is just switched on and we now have our meter readings. So I'm going to put everything inside this chicken wire Faraday cage and I want to see what happens. As my home is extensively made out of chicken wire with it being a stucco home and I've been wondering how that interacts with wireless radiation. And as we can see, the meter readings have gone very, very high. So this chicken wire actually significantly increases the wireless radiation levels inside the cage when a wireless router is in use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the wireless router because I want to see what happens with the radiation levels inside the cage. So the wireless router is now off and we can see our radiation levels have dropped significantly back down and that is what you would expect. So there is definitely something going on with chicken wire and wireless radiation sources. And that was the purpose of this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.